Hi everyone! Building Windows Store apps with JavaScript enables you to use the vast amount of frameworks available on the web. One of the most popular ones when building websites is Angular. You can use Angular in your store apps too, and use all the great things that Angular frameworks bring you. But you might run into some security issues. Here's an easy way to get Angular going in your application. First, let's create a new Windows Store app. I'm using the blank template and use the default name. Let's close this window. I've got Angular downloaded already, so I just add a folder, lib, and another folder for Angular. You could use uh, Bower or um, NuGet to get the packages. I just drag and drop it in here. Now let's go to the default.html and drop the JS file in there. Now to get the Angular app running you need the ng app attribute and to see if Angular is working I'm going to add a header and use 5 times 5 to see if it works and this should uh, print 25 to the application and let's run as you can see I'm getting an exception and this is caused by Angular trying to insert some dynamic content into the application which isn't allowed in uh, Windows Store app To get Angular to work, we can use the um, ng-csp um, attribute, the content security policy, and this basically tells Angular to uh, not do any evals or um, inject dynamic content into the application. To get uh, the cloaking to work, which one is one of the things that is injected, you have to use the uh, CSS file that came with Angular. So just drag it in there. And there we go. This file describes the ng cloak uh, CSS class, which um, makes sure, um, for example, uh, an image is hidden uh, until Angular is done setting up the bindings. So make sure you always include this line when using the uh, CSP attribute inside your store app. And let's see if it runs now. And there we go, 25. So at this point Angular is working. And that's all to get Angular going. From here on you can use everything you know about Angular inside your app. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.